gente, ¿cómo están? Uh, feliz jueves. Happy Thursday. It is late. Oh, man. I've awoken the beast. Hi, Moses. Let him join us, will, will ya? He was sleeping just two seconds ago. And I was also trying to speak a little quieter because I'm exhausted. I've been up since 4.30, at work since 7 a.m., and then literally got home at 11.30 and just started doing laundry and getting organized for the weekend because I'm going to have to stay in Brooklyn this weekend. I don't know if you guys know this, some of you might, but Kona Bear my pupper, who I share with my ex from a few years back, um, Rob. You guys know that, Rob. Um, he's traveling, but Kona, he got Lyme's disease about a month ago, was diagnosed. It was the most heartbreaking thing to see him so sick and so uncomfortable and so unable to communicate you know what he was feeling it was horrible but anyway I jumped right into that <laughs> the point was I have been up I think almost 20 well not yet 20 hours I'm recording this really on Friday morning even though it's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday day four reset update <laughs> but I'm exhausted and my eyes are so 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 heavy At least a, a few hours before I go to the gym because that's gonna be two nights in a row that I didn't really get much sleep. It's so crazy how it ebbs and flows, you know. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is this is Willie. This is every night. It's not like I've been gone forever. He's just for a feral cat. I don't. <laughs> can you deal? How can you ever be upset with him? <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> and if you don't pet him, watch. Just, I'm not going to touch him at all. Watch what happens. My hand's here. I just love him so much, though. Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Moses. <laughs> My guy, Willie, the little French fry. He has so many names. I know we've talked about this before, too. But anyway, um, it was an early start at work today because I had to help my nurse out who was giving out injections, not the vaccine, but intramuscular injections and um, I really have to say I don't know if she read the read the bait of Satan but she's definitely conducting herself so differently it's almost too good to be true but yet I appreciate that the efforts being made you know because you can see that it's work she's done some work to really make that change it's very nice to see, but, and it makes going to work much more enjoyable, even though it's also less productive. <sighs> it's been nice though to have the team back. I'm all over the place. I'm not even speaking about any one thing in particular and I wanted to, but I got distracted with this guy. And it's late, so I'm just gonna tell you, because this is the day four update, but it's really already day five. <sighs> we both have teeny tiny eyes, Lily. <laughs> um, woke up uh, early because, as I said, I had to be at the office at seven. Jumped on the scale. Did obviously didn't get to the gym, even though I actually set an alarm 
because that's I need an alarm to get up at the time that I would have needed to get up to go to the gym. Unfortunately, they're open now 23 hours, but the alarm went off and I was like, oh heck no, because by the time I went to bed, it was so late. So, so late. At least for me, because <laughs> it's wild that now I have the liberty to stay up as late as I want and do whatever I want, but I choose to sleep so I can get up and start my day and take care of what I need to and get before I get the day going, you know? But anyway, so I didn't have that liberty last night and didn't really have time to digest all the food that I had, but I had for dinner, which is crazy. I know it was Cinco de Mayo and I got excited about the tacos and the sans tequila, but holy crap, I had them on the jicama wraps and I ate nine of them and that didn't take the entire pound of ground chicken, but I ate it. <laughs> I ate it because I was hungry. I was legitimately hungry and not full when I finished eating. It was only 680 calories, you know? So, not terrible. But, um, it kind of sat and sat there. And obviously, I didn't get to go to the bathroom. I didn't have any exercise this morning. So, I was up. But I was only up 0.9. And that was pretty cool. So I was really happy about that because it felt like a win. And I knew that maybe if I had more time to digest my food and hadn't finished eating so late, like, you know, it would have shown on the scale, but stay the course, you know? It's been hard waking up in the middle of the night to pee though. And it so makes sense. The more you hydrate, right? The more you're gonna have to obviously tinkle and the more you're gonna sweat perspire. It's nice and the body needs to have all of those functions happening on a regular basis. But do you know what's happened now on day four? My cycle's a day late. It has to be attributed to the change in diet though, I'm pretty sure. But it's just so weird. <sighs> and not that I'm going to stress about it, but I was trying to calculate, you know, and see whether or not I was going to be flowing when we were running these Spartan races. And I was so fortunate to not be in any of them. Guess what? If it comes any later, I might be. <laughs> no! I guess, you know, as they say, these races are actually a test of mental fortitude, right? And how far are you willing to push to complete the challenge ahead, the obstacles ahead? It's going to be really interesting, really exciting, incredibly inspiring, and something that I'm starting to, and I, I know that I'm not really going to have the full appreciation for it until we actually get to the event and like participate in it, but it just seems to be such an incredible, all-inclusive, like, best self-help event that ever existed. World Conference. <laughs> I'm just rambling rose, guys. I don't even know. I'm delirious. I am. I need to go to sleep. But it's like, my eyes are so heavy. You know that feeling where they're just so heavy and then... You're awake, but you're not. Like, part of me is thinking, okay, you have to go to Brooklyn tomorrow because this is what originally I started to tell you. I just need to go to sleep. But I have to go to Brooklyn tomorrow because Rob's going to Florida, and he reached out to me just this afternoon to ask if I was going to be staying at his place after work or going to the gym and then coming by after work. And I was like, what? I didn't know that that was part of what was needed for this weekend. I thought that I just needed to take Kona to the vet on Saturday at one o'clock. And um, he was like, no, you said you quite, you asked if you could stay the weekend. And, you know, I said, yeah, but we never confirmed anything. You know, text is really difficult sometimes. I mean, I love the convenience of it, but so much gets lost in translation and it can be really frustrating and create a situation that doesn't need to be created. Not that there is a situation here, but 
between him having the Lyme's disease, as does Kona. I mean, how awful that the both of them got it. Oh my God, it's been crazy, guys. A lot of back and forth to the vet, a lot of expenses, both of them on 30 day round of antibiotics. Kona's been um, receiving daily IVs for of fluids for two weeks. Um, his kidney function test did not come back. So, uh, you know, like I guess there were some proteins that were building up <clears throat> in the kidneys and not being flushed out, so hence the need for the IV. <sighs> so he goes for another follow-up test on Saturday. It's been a month of this. And his, fortunately, his appetite is improving, you know, and his energy is improving, but it, it's, Lyme's is terrible. It's like the silent... It's, it's like a wolf in sheep's clothing almost. You go through those moments where you feel great and then you get hit by, oh, sorry, the, the lethargy and the aches and pains. I'm sorry, guys. Holy crap. Why don't we just go night night? I'm tired. Can you hear the dryer? I love that it's so conveniently located by my room because I can do laundry at all hours. And it's great too, because like I said, when I get up to pee, I can just take washer to dryer and then one less chore I have to do on the weekends. But in this case, it's one chore that I had to do because <laughs> I was asked to, to stay kind of confirmed last minute. So, and it's Mother's Day weekend. So I had, I'm also trying to wait on my siblings who haven't confirmed which day we're, we're getting together with mom. Like, hello, it's Mother's Day weekend. Either way, my mom just wants to spend time with us, and that's what's important to her, so easy to please, you know, which is great, but I have to pack everything still, and I didn't want to have to come home either, like on Sunday night, and then have to do laundry, and so I dusted and vacuumed, and I'll scoop the cat litter tomorrow, because this little guy's going to need it for a couple of days. <laughs> Oh, he's going to miss me too. I know it. But Kona and I need some quality time too. And uh, Kona is getting better though. He's getting stronger and kind of resuming his normal personality. I just, I'm excited to see him because we co-parent. <laughs> I know it's not uncommon, but we actually do. We do it well. And, um... And the last time I was with Kona, he his eyes were just not right. He was so sicky. He was so sad. I never liked to see him uncomfortable, let alone sick. And to know that, you know, it doesn't really go away. It's treatable, but it can be managed. But you can have outbreaks? Like, what? That sucks. And poor Rob has absolutely no energy. And I'm like, you're going to Florida? Why? Like, how much fun are you going to have? <laughs> It's not funny, I'm not laughing, because I would not wish this on anybody, honestly. But I worry that his immune system's compromised, because he still has, I think, at least maybe 10 days on the antibiotics left. And he's in so much, like, achy, his back hurts, he's sleeping a lot work is exhausting him, his breathing is labored, I'm like, duh, I don't really think you should be traveling right now, and I'm telling you that as a, you know, friend that cares about you, and he's like, I hear you, but I, I'm going, I was like, okay, but, wow, all right, guys, I was up point nine on day four. I hadn't gone to the bathroom before I laid in. I slept no hours, very similar to tonight. Um, but I also didn't exercise. Um, yeah, so. I was also in a calorie deficit by, I want to say, Hmm. 
Not too many, maybe 120, but still in a deficit. I'm gonna try to get some rest and then get up so that I can um, do my routine, get to the gym and run. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Sorry, my energy is what it is, but it's been a long one for me. And tomorrow's gonna be busy too, so this girl's gotta recharge at least for a little bit. I hope you are doing that right now. Sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.